The Australian government has been in negotiations with Japan, Korea and China to implement free trade agreements. These agreements are now signed and in force, which is good news for Australian businesses. The three agreements, known as JPA, CAFTA and CHAFTA respectively, are monumental milestones in Australia's history, as these three markets represented 53% of our total goods exports to the world in 2016. As a result of the agreements, there have been substantial tariff cuts across the many products that Australia supplies to these key markets. Many tariffs have been eliminated altogether. The FTAs have already delivered many benefits for Australian goods and services industries, such as increased growth, higher revenue, job creation and larger profits. The North Asia Free Trade Agreements with China, Korea and Japan, they give us better access to those markets. The reduced tariffs mean that the cost of us getting product into those countries is cheaper than it would be otherwise. So it can give us a massive advantage within that region. The core benefit of a reduced tariff means that uh, an exporter is able to price that product in a more competitive position in that market segment. Empirically, the evidence um, through every trade agreement over the past few decades is that they are beneficial to all signatories and they tend to boost the trade of all parties and the growth of all parties. Australian products already enjoy that brand advantage, the perception of quality. So if you can combine that with the ability to get a really better price point from an exporter's point of view, that's a, a very good combination. As a result of the free trade agreements in these North Asian markets, Anchor will continue to grow and benefit. It's just a tremendous opportunity for not only Anchor, but any other Australian manufacturer to grow their business in these markets. The potential growth is tremendous. Uh, where the FTAs have come through, what we've seen effectively is about a 36% increase. Uh, so it's quite a significant uh, growth for us. We went from a factory that was a thousand square metres and then obviously foreseeing some of the growth and seeing some of the trends that we were already experiencing, we then invested in a new facility which is about three and a half thousand square metre factory to still be experiencing double digit and triple digit growth this far into our journey I think is exceptional.